Pleasant good morning. Um, this is Junior Officer Jay Jones of Her Majesty's Prison calling on behalf of the prisons who took the officers, I'm sorry, who took protests on Monday to certain conditions that were um, at their majesty's prison. Yesterday, I was told, I did not hear it for myself, but I was called by several officers yesterday and today to say that the superintendent, acting superintendent, Mr. Anthony, was on observer radio saying that they made themselves available to vaccinate the officers because that is one of the main concerns we were outside the prison protesting about. And he made it possible to vaccinate them, and only six officers showed up. Mr. Anthony, I want to say that I'm very disappointed in you, because communication is the key. And where there is no vision, a nation will perish. You posted a memo sometime after midday on Wednesday. Now, remember, some of these officers are out. Some may not have turned up to work because of the conditions. So all would not have seen the memo. All would not have heard about the memo. So those who did hear responded. But the same way that you went on observer media to bash us, it's the same way you could have used that same media house because you seem to like the media and tell them, I am shouting out to my officers who are desirous of being vaccinated to please show up at Her Majesty's prison at 10 um, a.m. tomorrow morning where they will be accommodated Please dress in your uniforms, okay? I think that would have been the wiser choice than to post a memo inside of the prison, not even post it outside, inside of the prison, and then go on radio and bash us. Secondly, if you were not listening to my interview on Monday, I stated that due to the lack of movement to get the officers vaccinated as a unit, because we are also essential workers, that officers took it upon themselves to go to various outlets to have themselves inoculated. So quite a few officers have already been inoculated. Thank you very much, Mr. Anthony, for your concern. But the officers were more concerned about themselves. They took it upon themselves to go and have themselves inoculated. So you bending over backwards, you're not bending over backwards, sir. You're doing your job. This is what you are superintendent to do, to govern us. Okay, and they say where the fool, where the wise keep quiet, the foolish multiply. So, for the record, officers vaccinated themselves. Thank you for the six that you vaccinated. I would like to say thank you for doing your job. We would appreciate it with a little dialogue before you go on public radio and say things that are incorrect or inaccurate. I thank you for your time. Have a pleasant day.